snake that giveth knowledge, the spirit said, to worship me take wine and strange drugs, whereof I will tell my prophet. Falling on precisely the wrong side of the Bible's account concerning the fall of man and Satan's role, this snake spirit begins the revelation by telling man that he is a god, that reality is essentially an illusion, sin a myth, and that ethically there's no greater commandment than the law of Philema, Greek for will, as famously stated in the 40th verse of chapter 1. Do what thou wilt shall be the whole of the law. We do what we want to do when we want to do. And just what is this core principle by which most people live? Well, in a nutshell, do what you want. Surprised? Well, Anton LaVey wasn't. He understood precisely from where this popular concept had arisen. And he must, uh, as a Satanist, knowing this, realizing what his human potential is, eventually, and here is one of the essential points of Satanism, attain his own Godhead in accordance with his own potential. Therefore, each man, each woman, is a god or gods in Satanism. Big Pimper really, man, is living life to your fullest potential. I mean, like, whatever you want to do, when you want to do it, you do it, but in the grandest way possible, you know? And for a god or goddess, what's the ultimate standard for ethics, meaning, purpose, and destiny? You've got it. Whatever you feel is right. My heart is the ruler of all my being. If my heart tells me it's true, that's good enough for me. The answers to your, to your problems are in yourself and not in a, not in a god or religion. Uh, what, that, what does it mean to whip your hair back and forth? It means like... Basically, it's the new I'm me. Mm -hmm. It's basically like, you, it's not me. I'm doing what I want to do. Uh-huh. And I'm going to... Devil says, leave me some cash. That's what the devil says. Bless the trap or take on my daily bread. Let me welcome you to Babylon, where fools babble on and on and languages confuse. It's hard to translate, for instance, when they state they keep it real, they really mean they keep it fake. You get to the top and you, you put your flag down, and that's pretty much us putting out. What, if you're wrong? what is wrong is and wrong? right? And in our case, we dis we are making up our reality. We decide what's right and wrong. What you are letting wrong? the Bible or Jesus Christ or whatever God may be. Even decide. common sense. I mean, even leaving God out of it. To suggest that you can make up your own reality, my goodness, that's what they did in Tiananmen Square. Uh, that's what they did in Germany in 1933. I mean, and that's these, what they're doing in America. In these are examples of people who created their own reality. Everyone, everyone creates their own reality. The thing is, you speak for a consensus of reality which is acceptable. We speak for one which, at this point in history, is not acceptable. Well, so it's just a question of who manipulates the media who has the most money to put their reality forth. But would you pardon me saying that I find a world in which your ability to conjure your own reality as you see it, perceive it to be a very frightening world for people like me because you see I'm guided by some codified rules that tell me what is right and wrong in your world I'm not so sure I would feel very safe. Well, you would, you would see that's your problem. <laughs> you have, in, in the satanic world of the future, Christian churches will be allowed to continue because they pose no threat to us. We don't need Christianity. Christianity needs us. Is the message that I've been trying to uh, uh, share with the world on my show for the past 21 years. The message is that you're really responsible for your life. You are responsible for your life. I've known this. I've known this since the color purple. Many laws working in the world. But it is very true that the way you think creates reality for yourself. There are other factors going on. So it's not everything. But you really can change your own reality based on the way that you think. There, there's a concept that I don't want to be uh, an, an icon. Um, I want to be an idea. 
You know, I want to represent an idea. I want to represent possibilities. Um, I want to represent magic, right? That you're in a universe and two plus two equals four. Mm -hmm. Two plus two only equals four if you accept that two plus two equals four. Two plus two is going to be what I want it to be. Mm -hmm. You know, and there's a, there's a like there's a there's a, a redemptive power that making a choice has, you know, rather than feeling like you're at a f effect to all the things that are happening. Make a choice. Like you just decide what it's going to be, who you're going to be, how you're going to do it. Just decide. And then from that point. The universe is going to get out your way. It's like it's water. It wants to it wants to move and go move, around yeah. stuff, you know. So for for me, I want to represent possibilities. I want to represent the idea that you really can make what you want. One of my favorite books is the the Alchemist, mm -hmm. uh, Paulo Coelho, and that's just I just believe that. I, I believe that. I can create whatever I want to create. If I can put, put my head on it right, study it, learn the patterns, and, you know, I just, I, it's, it's hard to put into words yeah. some real metaphysical, esoteric nonsense, but I feel very strongly that we are who we choose to be. Marilyn Manson noted the universality of this satanic ethic when he observed, the idea of Antichrist is an unspoken knowledge that every person has. It's just the acceptance of yourself as a powerful being who can make their own decisions. It's not someone with a 666 on their head. And Satanism is about worshiping yourself because you are responsible for your own good and evil. How would you define, what would you define being a Satanist as? Worship of themselves. You're worshiping yourself when you worship Satan. Aleister Crowley stated it this way in his infamous Book of the Law. Every man and every woman is a star or a god. And as we saw earlier, do what thou wilt shall be the whole of the law. Uh, I'm a, basically a free thinker. Whatever anybody wants to do, they can do whatever they want as long as it doesn't hurt other people. I live by myself, you know, I live by my own values and all that, morals. I set my own ways. How do you determine what those morals and values are? Well, I don't know, I just do what's right for myself. By declaring that each person should walk in their own light, discover and then do their true will, LaVey, Manson, and Crowley, along with Nietzsche and others, have simply been echoing the father of all lies, the one that goes back to the very dawn of human history. Then the serpent said to the woman, God knows that in the day you eat of it, your eyes will be open and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. Satanism then, in its essence, is simply each person looking through his or her own eyes for meaning and direction. As our own god or goddess, we're free to do as we will. I was able to open my mind about the, um, the absolute indescribable hugeness of that which we call God. Um, I took God out of the box because I grew up in the Baptist church and there were, you know, rules and, you know, belief sy systems and doctrine. And uh, in America, Satanism is uh, sensationalized and kind of misunderstood and people associate it with worshiping the devil and things like that. But it's really a philosophy about uh, individuality and self-preservation. It's about... Uh, you know, being your own God. Oh, you know, he's, he's got a God complex because he said if they wrote the Bible again, that he would be in it. Duh, yeah, I would be in it. I feel like I'm one of the more important people, you know, in pop culture right now. One of the only people with an opinion. The Bible had, you know, 20, 30, 40, 50 characters in it. You don't think I would be one of the characters of today's modern Bible? And people have their own forms of Bibles now, you know? It's a new day and age. People have their own thinking. People have their own things that they're into. People have their own religion. Hip-hop is a religion to a certain extent, and the rappers are the preachers. And the music is the, is the scriptures, you know? It's just like church, because you go to a concert, 
you 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 raise your hands in the air, you get dressed up, you sing songs, and you definitely pay some money. It's just like church. <laughs> The third one is, I ain't sh without you, so make noise for what you create. The third one is, I ain't sh without you, so make noise for what you create. Second verse is like devil's pie, taste of dessert for us. To all of my dead thugs, I pour out a little Louis to a head above. And when I perish, the meat shall inherit the earth till that time is on and popping trash. That's my word, I never read the Bible in my life. I don't even know. And what I hear you saying, feel you saying in this book is, is that this book isn't about believing. This book is about what you come to know for yourself. Yes. Yeah, what you become to feel for yourself. Yes. And that what you're saying is that God, in the essence of all consciousness, isn't something to believe. God is. Yes. God is. And God is a feeling experience, not a believing experience. Right. And if and if your that your religion is a believing experience, if God for you is still about a belief, then it's not truly God. One of the mistakes that human beings make is believing that there is only one way to live That's and right. that we don't accept that there are diverse ways of being in the world that there are millions of ways to be then a human how do being you please and, God? and many ways no but many paths many to what you call God that and is her path crazy. might be something else and when she gets there she might call it the light but her loving and her kindness and her generosity brings her if it brings her to the same point that it brings you it doesn't matter whether she called it God along the way or not and I guess the danger that could be on that I mean it it sounds great on the onset but if you really look at both sides I there could be possibly be just one way what what about Jesus what about Jesus There is one way and only one way, and there that is through Jesus. Jesus. There couldn't possibly be with because a million you of people say there, is. there couldn't possibly be. There are certainly many more paths to God other than Christianity. that what I believe is that Jesus came to show us Christ consciousness. Man made God in his own image, the eternal, the infinite, and unnameable was reduced to a mental idol that you had to believe in and worship as my God or our God. Now, I think that's very eloquently put uh, by Eckhart Tolle in chapter one, but that is exactly what I was feeling when I was, um, you know, you know, sitting in church. That's Oprah Winfrey's baloney, as I said just a week or two ago. And now 56% of the evangelicals believe it. That's why you read a headline that says he's right in tune with the church of today because Christians have so far deteriorated in their beliefs concerning the word of God when you almost have six out of every ten so-called Christians saying we can get to heaven without Jesus. We are in trouble.